22 years ago today, at 5 in the morning, Operation Storm, the final military police liberation operation of the Homeland War, began. Operation Storm liberated northern Dalmatia, Lika, Banovina and the Kordun regions of the country following four years of occupation by rebel Serbs. This afternoon, an extraordinary session of government is being held in Knin. Government is expected to adopt a proposed new law on Croatian homeland war veterans and members of their families, which should unite their status and material rights for all veterans under one law. Ministers will also hear a report on current and future projects to be implemented in Knin and Šibenik Knin County. The central victory and homeland Thanksgiving Day celebrations and the day of the Croatian homeland war veterans will be marked today and tomorrow in Knin. In light of victory and Homeland Thanksgiving Day delegations from government and parliament led by Prime Minister Andrei Plenković and Parliament Speaker Gordon Jandroković paid their respects to those who gave their lives in defense of Croatian independence at the Central Cross at Mirogoy Cemetery in Zagreb today. They also honored the civilian victims of the war at the Wall of Pain Monument and the first Croatian president, Franjo Tuđman. President Kolinda grabar kitarovic issued a greeting to all citizens in light of victory and Homeland Thanksgiving Day today. The president noted that August 5th represented the crowning achievement in Croatia's centuries-long struggle for independence, a day when Croatia, under the leadership of President Franjo Tuđman, established its role in the international community and ensured its democratic development. Wildfires near Kistanje Skradin and the Kirka National Park have been contained. The fires have consumed more than 2,000 hectares of land, however the total damage is yet to be determined. With the danger still present, some 340 firefighters and soldiers are still on scene to ensure that old fires do not reignite and new ones not erupt. Taking a quick look at sports, in football, all three Croatian teams that played UEFA Europa League qualifiers last night advanced to the playoffs. Dinamo played Norwegian side Odd to a scoreless draw and advanced on a 2-1 aggregate. Hajduk defeated Danish side Bronby 2-0 in split to advance on a 2-0 aggregate score. Osijek beat Dutch side PSV Eindhoven 1-0 to advance on a 2-0 aggregate score. Draws to select pairs for the playoffs of the Champions League and the Europa League will be held in Nyon today. And in Croatian Football League action, Istra hosts Lokomotiva Zagreb at 8 p.m. tonight. And now the forecast for the remainder of the day. Predominantly sunny and very hot. During the late afternoon and evening, there is a slight chance of showers and thunderstorms in areas along the border with Slovenia. Winds will be at best mild in the interior with a mild to moderate westerly and southwesterly on the coast. Highs will be between 34 and 39 degrees Celsius, up to 42 in the Dalmatian hinterland. The three-day forecast for the interior calls for some intermittent cloud cover on Saturday with isolated afternoon showers, especially in mountainous regions. Sunday will see more cloud cover with showers and thunderstorms, especially in the evening. Monday will see some morning rain and thunderstorms and cooler temperatures. The coast will see predominantly sunny but unstable weather, especially from Sunday on to Monday, when the northern Adriatic will see localized showers and thunderstorms. Northeasterly winds will bring with it cooler temperatures.